Now you hear from the man himself, as well as the woman he claims is his wife and his former attorney, Craig Johnson, who Knight has since replaced. I spoke with them about why so many are convinced that he's actually Aloe Verde and why Knight says he's being set up by Utah prosecutors and whether prosecutors actually have DNA evidence linking the man known as Arthur Knight to Aloe Verdean's alleged crimes. Mr. Knight was wearing an oxygen mask for the interview because he says he's still suffering from COVID. I will call you Arthur before we get into some of the details. Why do you think everyone is so convinced that you are actually Nicholas Alaverdian? Uh, thank you, Sam. Thank you very much. Uh, you are, uh, such a part of your thoughts, actually. I never thought I had the opportunity to do that. You can uh, get the name under these circumstances. Um, but uh, I think to answer your first question, this is a public relations mission by David Lavage. And this man is thought he was doing a terrorist in a I'm, 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 I'm sorry to interrupt. It's just really hard to hear you. Is there any way, just while you're answering the question, you could take off the oxygen mask or is that uh, not because we really can't even understand you um, let me ask Miranda then Miranda can you just sort of uh, re tell me in, in essence what he was saying this will not be able until my name is clear um, good evening, good evening, Dan. Um, what Arthur is saying is that this is um, all a, a storm in a, a teacup. Um, when, when Arthur is a hurricane. So, um, Craig, how um, has, has Arthur, as he's known to you, done anything to demonstrate to you that he's not the person who is Nicholas Alaverdian, or are you just sort of representing his interests as an attorney? I just got back. If we can mute my client for a minute. Uh, I just got back from spending uh, four days in Scotland with him and his wife. I uh, was able to see his arms uh, as proof that he does not have the tattoos, supposedly, that Mr. Rossi had. In addition, uh, during those entire time with him, uh, some 12 to 16 hour days, I never saw him off of his oxygen mask. It all seemed genuine to me. There were times that I had to help him out of his wheelchair into a, a yeah. sitting chair for dinner, things like that, into his car. And so from my perspective, he is not Mr. Rossi. He's never been to the United States. And what about the DNA? And they have the wrong name. What about the DNA? What about the, the there DNA, is no DNA confirmation? That's inaccurate. So the DA is making that up? He no, is. no, that we just heard I that from the, the, we just played, yeah, we just played the sound from the prosecutor in Utah who said that there was a DNA match. Yes, he is inaccurate, and we're looking forward to proving that beyond a reasonable doubt. Um, I, I want to ask you, um, Arthur, if you would show us your arms, because that would, uh, that could easily sort of. Um, can, can, can you, can you roll up your sleeves? Can you roll up the of top of your sleeves? Of course I can. Yeah. Um, and go ahead. So, so the, I think, the, you know, it, it would look, and again, it's hard to tell from here, but it, it, the authorities are concerned, of course, that, uh, that you were, David Levitt is yeah. a liar. Well, and look, but, but why would he want to target you? Why, wait, can I ask you this? Why does he want to target some random guy in Scotland? Why, why, would a guy, why would a prosecutor in Utah decide, oh, let me find some random guy in Scotland and try and target him for this? What just happened? Hello? Yeah. Miranda, you want to take a shot at that one? Hello? I don't know if she can hear me, but I'll, I'll, I'll let Craig take a shot at that. Craig, Craig, why would the prosecutors want to find some random guy who's never been to the United States in Scotland and target him the way that your client seems to be suggesting he's targeted? Yeah, Dan, I certainly can't impute motives to Mr. Levitt on this. I can just ensure my client's constitutional rights are protected. And this is a case beyond yeah. a reasonable doubt that they need to prove. And certainly based on a lot of speculation of rumors, I don't think they can. I'll admit, when I was doing that interview, I couldn't understand a word he was saying, but his arms, 
They say maybe he had them removed. You tell me. We'll continue to follow the story. Thank you for watching. Banfield starts. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.